it was time to paint the buggy. And even though I hate painting, I couldn't be happier because that means I was on the last step and this project was about done. I pulled everything apart again and then I worked my way around all the new fabrication with the wire wheel to clean up any rust or splatter that has accumulated on it. I also gave the hood a sanding down. I wasn't going to spend too much time on this paint job. I mean the whole rest of the machine is a rust bucket, but I thought I'd take a little bit of time to do some prep on it. I wiped everything down with some prep ball, which really cleans it up nice. My dad stopped by to see how things were going. I think he was just about as excited as I was to get this thing done and out of the shop. What powder coating means? Yeah. I know it has a charge to it to make it stick on the top more durable. My dad and I were talking a little bit about whether we should have powder coated the front end, but we just decided to rattle can it. A lot easier and more within our budget. We wish we could have powder coated it. I'm sure it would have turned out better and, and lasted longer. I gave everything a coat of primer first. I hung a bunch of parts from the hoist so I could get good access to them for painting. I forgot to film it, but I touched up the black paint on the front fork here, and then after it dried, I taped it all off with some newspaper. It gave me a chance to catch up on the funnies. And like I said earlier, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this paint job, but I thought it would look cool to have the fork painted black and then the rest of the machine matched the original color, which is white, and so I taped off a line between the two. And also on my grill, I decided to paint the emblem white while leaving everything else on the grill black. This piece is kind of hard to tape off, actually. It was an odd shape, and it was hard to know where to put the separation line between the white and the black on the upright ribs. But I think it turned out all right. I could live with it anyway. Just a little spot to touch up. After giving the front end of the buggy a couple heavy coats of white paint, I pulled all the masking paper off and my paint job was done. I just needed to let it dry for the night and harden up. The next morning, after the paint was all dry, I was ready to put it all back together for the last time. I was really hoping I could remember where it all went. I cut the wire that was holding all the pieces up and one by one started fitting them back on to the machine. I attached the GPS receiver mount and got it tightened down. It looked a little weird, I thought, but it was one of those times where function needs to be a higher priority than form. Stacy was out on a run and stopped by at the perfect time to help me with the radiator and shroud. I could definitely use the extra hands. It's kind of awkward getting it up and into position. Yeah, all four of my have washers on them. There's two of them over here. Very nice. She's always quick to help and I always really appreciate it. Did it. I reattached the hydraulic oil tank and the uh, oil pump. Got that tightened down. Put back on the fender. This is a really old toolbox and the bottom's about to fall out of it, but at least it looks nice now with the new coat of paint. Put the battery back in place and got it secured down. I greased up the brackets and joints before reattaching the hydraulic cylinder. That looked mildly inappropriate. Sorry about that. Then I slid the pin in and got it tightened down. Slid the UHMW back into place and stuck all the bolts back in. It takes a while to put all these bolts in. They're kind of hard to get to. Glad that was done. Lifted the grill into place, trying to be careful on the new paint, and got it tightened down. And for the last time, I lifted the hood up and into place. This thing is really heavy and awkward, and I did not enjoy moving it the many times I had to over the course of the project. There's just one thing left I wanted to do on the buggy, and it could possibly be the biggest improvement for the machine yet. Wash the window. <laughs>
I could barely see out of this dang thing. I don't know why it took me this long to do it. Windex and paper towels really are a farmer's best friend. Just gotta take the time to do it every now and then. It's really gonna drive like a new machine now. Well, I couldn't really believe it, but this fertilizer buggy project is done. Only one thing left to do. Let's take it out to the field and try it. I was having too much fun driving the new buggy while chasing myself around with the quadcopter. I'm sure the neighbors were wondering what the heck I was doing and were probably thinking I was nuts, but I was having a heck of a time. Man, I couldn't be happier with how the machine was driving. The steering was very tight and smooth and the machine was tracking great. It actually went the direction you're steering it now, unlike before. There were times during the project when I definitely wondered if I had made a good decision or not to rebuild the front end, but it really felt like a new machine now after driving around the field for a while. Like most of my projects, it took a little longer than I thought it would and turned into a bigger project than I thought it would, but I think it really turned the machine into something worth keeping. My dad mentioned that maybe next year we should rebuild the back end and put dual spinners on it. This makes me laugh a little bit because if we rebuilt the front end and then we rebuilt the back end, is it the same buggy? It was a fun project and I felt like I learned some stuff. I always get a kick out of watching it go from a design on the computer to something real right in front of you. And it really feels great to work hard on a project that is going to be something you'll use a lot and will improve our situation on the farm. It's practical and we'll see benefits from it right away. Having passed the test drive, I backed it into the shed where it'll wait until we need to use it, which is likely just a week away. I was pushing the deadline a little bit on this project. We've got some grass that is really needing some fertilizer and it'll be a good opportunity to really test the machine out and see how it does. It's kind of funny how parallel parking in town makes me anxious, but this is no problem. And the project is done. It's a great feeling successfully finishing up a project, especially a big one that took this much work and this much time. Now I can get back to farming. Come on, Drake, let's go. Thanks for watching.